Monitoring blood sugar levels is a key element in keeping these levels where they should be. For example, a normal blood glucose level before a meal is between 70 and 100 milligrams per deciliter. Marie-Therese Bernard tells us more about the continuous glucose monitor, now New Medicine Tech, in Trinidad and Tobago. Diabetics usually use a blood glucose meter to take small samples of blood for testing, usually in the morning or two hours after eating. The disadvantages of this type of monitoring are that it is painful and while some people get used to it and hence bear it, it can be problematic for others. Due to this pain, patients might develop a psychological barrier that can keep them from checking their blood glucose regularly, which could lead to episodes of hypoglycemia and hyperglycemia, that is sugar being too high or too low. An alternative system of checking, which has been long in coming to this country, is the continuous glucose monitor launched by the Diabetes Association. Endocrinologist Dr. Amisa Ragbir explains how the ADEX system works. So instead of sticking your finger all the time, CGM uses small sensors on the skin to measure the amount of glucose in the body. It sends that information to an app or monitoring device letting you know real-time readings simply by looking at your smartphone. These real-time readings can help you make more informed decisions about the food and beverages you consume, the physical activity you do, and the medicines you take. The Diabetes Association has, for the last four to five years, been checking into making this type of monitoring available to the Trinidad and Tobago public. So we were testing EDEX for the last, I would say the last six or seven months, Ramon. Um, so we extensively tested this, this product, we tested it against other CGMs, we tested it against um, blood glucose monitoring and we, we, looked at, uh, we looked at at how reliable it was and we, we know we, we can say we're confident enough that we can launch. President of the Diabetes Association of Trinidad and Tobago, Mr. Andrew Dano, also makes the case for this type of monitoring, citing the case of a patient who literally escaped death due to the new technology. He got the alarm and he also got the alarm on the phone and I called him. I said, are you okay? He said, yes, he just got the alarm. He just had some juice. He took his insulin this morning. He's living by himself. He took his insulin this morning and there's no one there to help him. He didn't realize he went to sleep. He may have been someone who passed away in his sleep if it is that the CGM didn't wake him up. Dr. Ragbir says the continuous glucose monitor is bringing medicine forward by leaps and bounds. One of the other good things is that we have increased patient engagement because when patients are able to, to appreciate um, what's happening with the diabetes, what are these things that are going to send it high or send it low, how to adjust insulin, and that's, and that's where we want medicine to head. The new technology making for less trauma in monitoring blood glucose is now available in Trinidad and Tobago, much to the delight of the Diabetes Association. Mary-Therese Bernard for Health Check. <music> 